all new tonight on Fox 5 News Edge. Christopher Columbus, not the only historical controversy brewing across the country right now. Many cities and towns debating whether to remove Confederate monuments in the wake of violence, which broke out at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia in August. Now, one of those stands in the middle of Decatur Square. Fox 5's Claire Sims has been following this story, and tonight people participated in a discussion about the historical significance of that monument. Yes, Claire? May. As this discussion has gone on, we've heard from many people who've said that the monument should stay because we don't want to erase our history. But several history experts who spoke tonight say that monument doesn't represent the history that many people may think it does. It's a punch in the face almost like a every day knowing that these monuments are up, knowing that people were tortured and, and mistreated for and they, they were celebrated. A spirited discussion Monday night about the history of this Confederate monument on the square in downtown Decatur. DeKalb County Commissioner Merida Davis Johnson and community groups who have publicly pushed for the removal of this stone memorial organized this panel of local experts to educate the public on its historical significance. I would argue it's not actually a Confederate monument. It's a monument to white supremacy and the location of it right in front of the courthouse is no accident. Erected in 1908, just two years after the Atlanta race riots, these panelists from Agnes Scott, Emory, Georgia State and Clark Atlanta say the monument was put up in front of the courthouse to intimidate African Americans who wanted to register to vote in DeKalb County. This monument was not paid for by Decatur. It was not paid for by DeKalb County. It was paid for by donations from white supremacists. There are many who believe this monument should stay put as a reminder of our history. It's a part of history. I don't think we should try to hide our history or, or you know, if, if you start doing that, eventually you're, you're almost erasing history. I do think that we should leave the monuments uh, just as a reminder of how far we've come from the past. But others believe the inscription represents revisionist history and should be placed somewhere that can provide broader context. I think it should be, it ought to be moved to another location. Um, and I think it should, and I think there should be a more historical, um, more historical exhibit about the entire history of, of DeKalb County.